Hi, I'm Laura Isles with the Iowa State University Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic, and today I want to show you one of the more serious hardwood pests, the carpenter worm. And the damage we see on this um, log here is typical of carpenter worm damage. These very clean, round holes, numerous holes. Um, this was discovered when the tree um, was cut down. Um, you can see the large split here in the tree. Carpenter worm females will lay their eggs near damage. And so, you know, a split, possibly a frost split or something like that, and that's where the carpenter worm female will lay her eggs. And then her larvae, they start out very tiny and they start burrowing in and they actually eat um, the wood. And so there'll be a lot of sawdust produced. Um, eventually the larvae get pretty big. This is a large um, carpenter worm larva. So if you ever see a large white grub like this, you can tell it's carpenter worm because it has little crochets. So if you remember learning about caterpillars back when you were in elementary school, they have these little, you know, hooks on their feet. So that's how you know it's a carpenter worm and not one of the round headed or um, other wood borers. This small thing right here is the pupal case. So when it gets ready to emerge as an adult, um, the pupa kind of pushes itself out from the wood a little bit and then the adult moth emerges. So I've had this log sitting in my office and the other day I was happy to, to notice that an adult moth had emerged. So I'll take the moth out. And this is a male carpenter worm moth. We know it's a male because you can see a little bit of that orange on the underwings. The females do not have that orange coloration under their wings at all. So the male and female moths will emerge, they'll mate, and then the female moths will lay their eggs um, on the wood. The reason we are concerned about carpenter worm moth is obviously this sort of damage, especially in branches and things like that, can make make the tree more prone to breakage, you know, obviously in wind and things like that, but even just kind of spontaneous limb loss, which is very dangerous if it's a tree, um, you know, in a park or something where people might be underneath it. So carpenter worm moths are not a terribly common pest here in Iowa, but definitely something to be aware of and watch out for just because the damage that they cause can cause um, that limb breakage and things like that. So, you know, if you have a limb that breaks off suddenly, especially a, a branch that was healthy and had healthy looking leaves, check for that, that tunneling from carpenter worm uh, caterpillars. <laughs> Mm-hmm.